represent Wayne Dot here to talk to you about the biggest wrestling match of the century. Here we are, Dirty Wayne Dot, DotWrestling.com, Dirty Dot coming at you. We heard about the Joko Wrestling Show, and ain't got nothing on the Dirty Dot. So this is the Dot Wrestling coming at you with Little Miho and Wayne Dot. Now let's talk about this duel, talk about Kansas Wrestling tonight. Right off the bat, we got Bonner Springs and Abilene. Let's talk first about the coaches. Abilene is coached by the one and only James Stout, and he is tough. You know how I know he's tough? He has four daughters. Any man that has four daughters is a tough SOB to me. Here we are talking about the one and only Brandon Job from Bonner Springs. He used to play basketball, but I found him growing up in the dot. I found the little guy. He was at Piper playing basketball. I said, hey, Brandon Job, you're not going to be great. You're going to be a great wrestler and a great coach. So I told him to give up the orange ball and start to wrestle. And look at him now. Has the number four ranked team in the state, 4A. But is it good enough to beat Abilene, who's the number one team in 4A? Well, first off, I watched the Joko wrestling show. I don't like it. The guy's talking about, do you go against rankings? Do we go against rankings? No, there's no way. Rankings are always correct. Well, if you know anything about wrestling, the 4A rankings are never correct. That ranking committee is awful. They're busy trying to raise a family, teach, coach a team. They don't even get their rankings on time. I don't know if this is accurate information. Those guys are too busy living their life and not doing the rankings. So I don't know tonight about the rankings, especially 4A. It's inconsistent and they have to rank more teams. Makes no sense. All of those guys should be fired. They're getting paid for no reason. The KWCA needs to fire the ranking committee in 4A. Awful. Terrible job. But the dot don't care. So let's get to the wrestling. Mio and I is going to start right off the bat. 106. Wow. What a match. Going to start off. Got the rankings. strata has been wrestling well this year. It's tough. We got freshman versus freshman. I don't know what to do here. It makes me nervous at 106. But I'm going to go ahead and give it up to Abilene. Giving them three points. Miho, three points on the board. Next, Seton. Seton comes from a long line of wrestlers. He came out of the womb wrestling. That's all the kid knows how to do. Going against another freshman. Moore's having a good year. But no way can I go against a Seton. Growing up in the dot, Seton's always rule. So we're going to go ahead and give three points for Mr. Seaton. Right here, 120. Can I go against the rankings? I don't even know this McGivern kid. I don't even know if he should be ranked. I told you the 4A rankings don't matter. But McGivney is a senior, and he's wrestling 120. So I can guarantee you this, no way does a sophomore win. I'm going four points with the major decision. Four points, Miho. We're going to talk about a few guarantees in this duel. One, excitement. Two, there's going to be a lot of orange there. Lots and lots of orange. You can go pheasant hunting out there. But the Dirty Dot match, here we go. Ba -ba 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 Dirty Dot match of the night. We're going at 126 with Mr. Hitchcock and Castile, both ranked. Should they be ranked? I don't know, it's 4A. But, looky there, the red ranking, all class ranking. Unbelievable. No way does Tanner Hitchcock lose this match. He grew up in Southeast Kansas, so he's tough. Then he went to the dot, which made him ultimate tough. The toughest of tough. He mixed both worlds, Southeast Kansas, dot ultimate wrestler. I'm going to go ahead and give him four points. He's going to pick up the majors. I'll give him four, Miho. Seven to seven. That's the tie at 126. Going into 132. Here we go. Rankings. They do matter in 6A and 5A. But in 4A, they do not. 
Tapia is going to win with a very, very close decision. Three points for Bonner Springs. Again, coming out. Can't even say this guy's name. Look how long it is. No way could someone lose with that long of a name. He's ranked, but he's wrestling well. I'm excited about this kid. His name is Thomas. Thomas is the man. Thomas goes to camp. Thomas is great. 138, the senior will beat Randall's. Being generous here, four points for Bonner Springs. Little trivia right here. Growing up in the dot, I know one thing. Dwight D. Eisenhower was from Abilene, but he, that's what Abilene's not known for. They're known for their wrestling. Wrestling one, Eisenhower number two. Here we go down. Now we're going down to 145. I'm going with Brooks. I like Brooks. I like the shoes. I run. That gets me in shape. I'm going with Brooks. Give him three points over Lentz. Plus Lentz, that's the name of our athletic director in Keisha. There's no way Lentz wins. I don't know if they're related or not, but same last name. Heron. Going with Heron right here. He's going against a sophomore. So three more points. Oh, we got the brother combo down here. Both are state qualifiers. These are going to be good matches, but I'm going with decisions on both of them. So Miho, give me three and three. This duel is going to be exciting. I can't wait. I think Coach Job is going to lose some hair over this duel. It's going to be so exciting. Next. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It's like a rainbow of color over here. Look at this. Look at what he has ranked. The 4A rankers think he's number one. I don't know if those guys know what's up and what's down. But all class number six. I'm going six points right here. Getting the pin over MacArthur. Look at Miho. Miho can do great math. I'm so proud of you. We can do math in the dot. Here we go, Singleton. Been looking great all year. I believe only has two losses all year. Great wrestler, great attitude. I am giving him six points. He's gonna get the fall. So now we're 23-22 going down to two matches. Second dirty dot match of the night. 220, Willis is just a sophomore. He's ranked number four in 4A, number six in all class. Now this is where the confusion comes. Christensen is a senior, ranked number three in 4A, but he is ranked below in the all class rankings. That, once again, that shows you that the 4A rankers don't know what's going on. Okay, there's, Willis should be ranked higher. Whoever is ranking 220 should be fired. So looking at this match, I have to agree with the all-class ranker. I'm going to go with a decision. Three points for the two-time Dick Burns champion, Mr. Willis. Here we come down. Mr. Burt, heavyweight, should be ranked, but he's not. So who's ever doing the heavyweights, you're missing out. Going against Mr. Selleck. His dad is Tom Selleck, was in Magnum P.I. Had a good-looking mustache like myself, Mr. Wayne Dot. Looking down right here, it's going to be a close one. I think my boy Brandon Job is going to teach him how to stall. And there's not going to be bonus points in this one, but Bert's going to win. Three points for Abilene. The final score of this great duel goes to, to Abilene. No, it doesn't go to Abilene. They're ranked higher. The 4A rankers don't know what's going on. Bonner Springs, a.k.a. Boner Springs, home of Sandstone Amphitheater and the Renaissance Festival, will take out the home of Dwight D. Eisenhower and win. Bonner Springs wins 26-25. The 4A rankers don't know what they're doing. They've messed up all the rankings once again. I hope you enjoyed Dirty Dot Wrestling. I know it's more entertaining than that soft Joko wrestling. Again, congratulations to Blue Valley Southwest on their big victory. Mr. Incredible didn't know what was going on. I hope everybody enjoyed this. We'll see you next week.